Hi everyone, so we've just come back after the Christmas holidays and we're starting the A2 parametrics. The parametrics is really, really nice. Um, the idea is that the equation is just too difficult to be put as one single equation. So we kind of have two separate, or three separate, or four separate, or five, or six, or seven separate equations which might be related to time or an angle. Uh, and it's how we deal with it. So things like roller coasters, you know, can't have a simple equation. You've got equations for the different ways that it moves. Um, so this is what this is about, really. Uh, ours just tend to be two, though. Ours is just x and y. So here we go. So it talks about t for time, t is a parameter, theta if it's, you know, trick. Right, so... It talks about the Cartesian equation. Now you've always worked with Cartesian equations. You're like, like y equals x squared is a Cartesian equation. You plot it on a set of axes, x and y. So it's there, that's what Cartesian is. That's all it means. So it says, generally, uh, rearrange one of the equations to get rid of the parameter, the t or the theta. So we're going to get rid of t or theta. That's what we're doing. Now then it says, if it involves trig, use trig identities to eliminate it. So a lot of the time we'll just use sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. Because that's where like the, trial, where the, the circle comes from. But sometimes you have to use a different one. So let's have a look at this one then. So I've got two equations, x equals 2t and y equals t squared. And I want the Cartesian equation. So I've got x equals 2t and I've got y equals t squared. Oops. I want to get rid of t. That's what I want to do. Now the easiest one to rearrange is the x. And then I want to replace the t in x equals t squared with x over 2, sorry, y equals t squared. So I've got y equals x over 2 squared. So it's y equals x squared over 4 there. So that's that one. So then it says state the domain and the range uh, of f of x. So let's have a think about it then. So for part I know that it's minus 3 is less than t is less than 3. Now if I use x equals 2t, what I'm saying is that the domain would be minus 6 is less than x is less than 6. So x belongs to the real such that minus 6 is less than x is less than 6. In terms of the range, if I put in the minus 6 to plus 6, it's x squared over 4. Now x squared over 4 is a shallow graph. I'm looking between minus 6 and 6. So I want the y values between minus 6 and 6. So if you look, if you put 6 or minus 6 in, you've got 36 over 4, which is 9. So the actual, remember you would just want the y values with the range. So the y values are between 0 and 9. So the range would be the y belongs to the real. So really we should use f of x, but there we go. Is zero is less than y. Now it's actually less than or equal to because it involves that one. The nine comes from the, the excluded bit, which has got the less than on it. So that's a less than nine. So that one came from the, the, the less than nine came from the original. Whereas the zero is like the it's, it's kind of included within it. Uh, sketch the curve. Oh I've done that now, looks like that's part C. Uh, there you go. Something extra we used to do is, is from here, say for instance, had it going from uh, minus 3, 
all the way through to three. So that'd be your T values. And what you do is you can plot your X and Y values. So you can say, all right, so X is two T, so that's minus six. Y is T squared, so that'd be nine. And you've got a coordinate there, which you could like plot if you wanted to. So that's kind of like another way of looking at it. Your calculator does actually graph um, parametrics. You just change the type of it. But let's have a look at this next question then. So it says, the curve has a parametric so we've got x and y. Find the Cartesian. Right, so the x is log t plus 3. I want to get rid of t. That's what I want to do. So to make t the subject of this one, I need to take e. So I've got e to the x is t plus 3. e to the x minus 3 is t. So I'm going to replace the t on the bottom. A different colour so it stands out. So then e to the x minus 3, now I've got plus 5. So all I've done is I've just replaced the e to the x minus 3 with t. And that's all you're doing, it's dead straightforward. So I've got y is 1 over e to the x plus 2. Now this says for t being bigger than minus 2, so it says he wants you to find the range of it. Right, so let's have a think about this then. If I stick in t as minus 2, then so let's have a think about this. So if t is minus 2, so that's right in the edge of it, then x will be log of 1. And log of 1 is 0. There. So that little bit there tells me, because it's greater than minus 2, that if I do this properly, if I put in the domain, because really you should put the domain in as well, this x is greater than 0. There. And then for the range, there. Uh, if I think about the graph, if I put t is minus 2 in for that, it would give me what for the y equals 1 over minus 2 plus 3. That gives me a third. Now I've got to think about what the graph actually looks like. Um, like the t plus 5 graph, 1 over t plus 5, has an asymptote of minus 5, and it looks like that. Looks like that. So I'm looking at bigger than minus 2. So because I'm looking at bigger than minus 2, I'm looking from here onwards. So this is t, it's bigger than minus 2. So that's the third, that's where your third comes from. Oop, I've lost it. I know, give me 10 seconds, I've just lost it. Found it. Now think about these y values here. Because of the asymptote, it doesn't use the zero. But the y values, are all these x values here give y values where the graph drops down. So I'm just going to just draw it again so you can see it better. It kind of drops down to zero. And there's my minus uh, two on the third. So the range of values, let me change colour back again. is y belongs to the reals, such that. So it kind of drops down from a third, but doesn't include zero because of the asymptote. So it starts at a third and drops down to zero. Um, you know what that is? Oh no, because it's greater than, ah! Because it's greater than, I don't want that in there. It's just lost that. But that's, uh, they've got to be careful with that one, because that's the asymptote. There, there you go. Well, I'll stop this video and there's a question for you, but I'll stop the video. It tells you about how you can draw it, actually, so you can actually draw it. Have a go at drawing it. Right, bye-bye.